welcome to episode 14 of the Favourite Pokemon from each type series. This is the Psychic type, and do you know what, I can't think of a good pun. I don't okay. mind. I don't want to make a spoon joke. No, there is no spoon. So the Psychic types, they fall in, into a bit of a similar category as fighting for me, because uh, again, I've never really used them. Well, I suppose they're supposed to be weird, aren't they? Um, mm. They're meant to be thought of the outcasts. Yeah. Um, even their weaknesses, they're based on their basic fears, so they're weak to bug, dark, and ghost because, well, their basic fears. People are scared of bugs, scared of darkness, and scared of ghosts. But finding a favourite psychic type is actually trickier. Mmm. Um, I did settle on one. It may change in the future, but we'll go for it now. So the one I'm going to talk about is Gardevoir. <coughs> it's a good Pokemon. I really like Gardevoir, actually. Mm, a lot of people seem to. Well, well uh, let's not talk about the creepy points of the internet, but was the reason I said in... <laughs> As, is there a reason why you chose it Gardevoir rather than Gallade? Because I was playing Gen 3. Yeah, so it's more a nostalgia from what you went to use kind of point of view rather than anything else for you personally. Well, that and it was just a good Pokemon. Um, yeah. Quite useful move set in a way because also gets stab psychic. Yeah. Also gets thunderbolt, which is very handy. Yes, very good coverage. And even better than that, he gets access to Will O Wisp. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, so from memory, Gardevoir's got really good, def especially defensive stats. Yeah. So access to something like Will O Wisp gives him really good. Defences. Defences in general, yeah. That's really cool. Mm. Plus, it becomes a fairy type as well, doesn't it? So, yeah. you've got immunity to dragon, you've got admittedly a new weakness to poison, but it gives you just general type coverage as well. And steel types as types. well. Yes, but I feel like you could probably neuter quite a lot of that with something like will o -Wisp. Mm. You can half damage from everything when it comes to physical attackers, and steel types generally tend to be physical attackers. Obviously, uh, Magnus are notwithstanding. Mm. Although you said that it gains a new weakness in poison, psychic. Mm. You've got psychic on the table there anyway, so you can already kind of take him out. If anything else, it's incredibly versatile. It's got so much in terms of attacking moves, it's got defensive options. Does it get recover? No. <laughs> well, something I did want to point out as well with Gardevoir is this design isn't actually meant to be feminine, it's meant to be that of a knight. Obviously, they went a bit more on the feminine route with the uh, Mega Revolution, which has this big sort of billowing long press around it. Curly looks really feminine. Curly looks incredibly feminine, so it's, it's kind of unavoidable really, but the idea being that it had like, it was meant to be a chest plate, it's meant to be a sort of gallant knight rather than any kind of um, female figure. Do you know what a funny thing about Gardevoir is? What? Its Pokedex entries say that it will do anything to protect its owner, and it's because it's really loyal to it, and it can do this by creating a small black hole. How does that help? How does that help at all? It doesn't. Yeah, so Gardevoir can end the world. Yeah, that seems really scary in terms yeah. of its power. I've used a little bit of it. Ralts is a really cool Pokemon to get right at the start of the game. It's a funny one as well. You know when Wally catches his Ralts? Yeah. There was a, a YouTuber that, like, I think he was doing speedruns of Emerald. Yeah. And Wally goes and finds the wild Pokemon, and it was a shiny Ralts. <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's so annoying! <laughs> even he was like, ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> he gets a bolt that's not even, you can't even catch it. He could be so cruel and just reset the game. <laughs> None for you, Wally! <laughs> <laughs> Did it stay a, a shiny for the rest of the playthrough? I don't know, I only got that yeah. thing, uh, when he catches the shiny rolls. Amazing. Another one-syllable Pokémon. So that is Gardevoir, and 
Who's your favourite psychic type? <laughs> He's got a good one. Well, I, kind of because it falls into the steel types again. Mm. It's Metagross. <laughs> a fan favourite. Another pseudo legendary, it seems. Mm. Uh, not on purpose, I don't think, anyway. But my story about Metagross is kind of. He's brilliant. Brilliant. I had a fully completed team in Generation 5, but I've not really used it very much. I've not had much chance to use it. Um, but I was over at my friend's house one day, and I was playing, of all things, Portal. Uh, Portal 2 as multiplayer. So I already was kind of focused on what I was doing, but then I, uh, his brother comes in, he's like, hey, you want a battle? It's like, sure, we'll have a battle. I've got a Generation 5 team. He didn't really have a, bat a team, he just kind of put stuff together. But he had some really good players. He had Wobblefit, he had Umbreon, he had, I believe he had an Espeon as well. He yeah, had Mewtwo, didn't he? Mewtwo, Cloister with Skill Link. Axor, as he called gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. God. It just a all-star team, really, really, really good. Yeah, I've been it all with. <laughs> been it all with Megros. Yeah, there's a great video on this. You. I uh, I saved the video on my uh, DS as well because it was just glorious. I think I actually ended the battle with green health as well because I had <laughs> uh, had like those on it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. Uh, he... Are you going to upload it? Upload it? Can mm. you do that? I have no idea. Uh, I'll may maybe I'll see if I can try and find a way of getting it on this. Because um, yeah. it'd be great to see. It's, um... Yeah, it is kind of great to see. It's... Uh, I think the main reason, the main way it went wrong was that he misjudged his warp effect. Mm. Uh, he could have taken me out with counter warp effect, but he didn't know Metagross very well, so he used, um... Miracle. Miracle on one of the turns, so he didn't get nearly as much damage as he wanted to in. Uh, and the rest of it was history, I just swept his entire team. Um, he even cheated and used an X Defend plus three um, <laughs> on, on his Haxorus and still lost. Um, it is a gosh dang beast. I love Metagross, he's awesome. I suppose I'm about to talk about the actual Pokemon, am not I? Mm. Um, Design-wise, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange one because it's kind of Beldum stuck together, isn't it? It's pre-evolutions. It's another one of these stupid amalgam Pokemon that where they evolve by adding them together, which I, I suppose it makes sense if it's a machine. Um, it, I can't really tell what it is. What is it based on? What is it? In terms of design, I still like it. It kind of feels like this sort of robot monster like it's built itself out of robot parts it kind of feels really cool uh, plus it's blue favorite color dig it and it's shiny uh, looks awesome it's shiny looks awesome though yeah it's silver with gold plating on it and a gold uh, x <laughs> yeah, i've got one you get one you got one back in the day as a um as an event, thing it was an event, event right yeah. at the start so i've got one um yeah really really like it it's got a really good move pool as well, so things like Bullet Punch for priority, Meteor Mash for steel punching, <laughs> um, and it even gets things like Zen Headbutt, Earthquake, Stealth Rock. It's a really good lead, and it's also a really good general Pokemon to use as more like a tank, and it gets a Mega Evolution as well, for general tank. Um, yeah, really, really. Really dig Metagross, he's super cool. Oh, Psychic, honourable mentions, have you got any? No. <laughs> Me neither. How will he fare against Gardevoir? Only one way to find out. Fight! So taking a look at the initial stats, Gardevoir is quicker and has access to Shadow Ball. Okay. Mm. But I do feel that Metagross does have a big advantage over Gardevoir due to his steel typing. Yeah, not only does it get Meteor Mash, but it also gets steel priority as well. Bullet punch. So if it comes down to the wire, 
I feel like it gains the edge regardless of speed. Mm. If anything, the deciding factor on this one feels to me like it's going to be whether it can survive a Shadow Ball. I um, suspect it probably can. Well, because bear in mind Metagross's special defence isn't the greatest. Mm. It's got good defence, its health is alright, but its special defence is a bit more lacking. Ooh! Mm. I forgot to take Will-O-Wisp into account. You do have access to Will-O-Wisp, but would you, rather, would you want to spend your first turn doing that? Bear in mind! It does have your attack. It does have my attack, and it's also got a accuracy that's about 75% as well. About the same as Sleep Powder, yeah. About the same as Sleep Powder. Um, I know this first hand, but we'll get to that later. Mm. But, do you feel like it's enough of an advantage? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by having a look at the damage calculator. It's pretty one-sided. Is it? Yeah, Bullet Punch is basically what gives you a massive advantage. It gives us the win. Um, yeah, when it comes to Bullet Punch, obviously a Will-O-Wisp would help, but if I can get a Bullet Punch in before you burn me... Which you probably would. Yeah, it, that does between 75 to 89% damage. And then Will-O-Wisp oh. damage. And even after I, after I did a Will-O-Wisp on that turn, yeah, you could still knock me out, even when you burn. So, yeah, Metagross wins this pretty convincingly. Mm -hmm. It means yet another defeat for me, I think. The last defeat, the last win I had was the Poison matchup. And that was... But I've only had one win out of five. Mm. So... Yeah. Maybe crawling it back. Maybe crawling it back. Yeah. So that was the psychic episode. The next one will be the darkness of the dark episode. Darkness. Because it's really growing on me. Stay tuned. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Since filming for this episode, I do now have an honourable mention. Reuniclus. He's got a very good special attack. It's got good health gets access to recover and it also has magic guard as one of its abilities which protects it from poison, burn and weather damage. I did ask Callum if he had any retrospective honourable mentions and he said that aside from Metagross every other psychic Pokemon is shit. Hello and welcome to episode 13. No it's not 13, it's 14. <laughs> oh the fighting con. Yeah. Continue with Ah, no! Got it. <laughs> I must make a spoon joke. No, yeah, there is no spoon. Is it too big? That's a Matrix reference. <laughs> That's why I didn't get it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. But we're going to talk about. Well, that. That shit. If any, anything else, it's incredibly versatile. It's got a lot of physical attacking. If anything else, it's incredibly versatile. It's got a lot of attacking moves. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> what? <Yeah>. Ben Squelp. <laughs> Squelp. I mean, but how will Metagross fare up against Gardevoir? Oh, I haven't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. well, the X means it could be straight edge. I didn't feel like that was a real answer. <laughs> I'm such a dumb bit. <laughs> uh, meta. Uh, Gardy. <laughs> Possible six hit KO. <laughs> uh, What's it looking like? Pretty one-sided, unfortunately for Ooh, me. Ooh, look at that! It's really growing on me! <laughs> oh, I didn't see that coming. Do you believe anything on that? 